In the beginning, there was darkness everywhere. Then God spoke, and He said, Let the creation be Hi, children of God. You're so beautiful. My name is Auntie Shebrew, and I'd like to welcome you once again to the Creation Us Kids School of Science. School of Science! Hello, my name is Kimani, and this is my sister. Hi, I'm Jemai. Welcome, welcome to, to our, our school. school. God made light on the first day of the week, and there are many kinds of lights, like night lights and flashlights and the light in your room above your head. There's lightning bolts and street lights and all kinds of lights. But did you know that light comes from fire? What do you know about fire? Fire is a beautiful thing. It can also be very dangerous though. Fire is not just something. Fire is something that happens. Fire burns and gives heat. It breathes and gives light and it also does many other things. Did you know that people are like fire? Both fire and people need to eat. Well, fire eats wood and paper and houses and candle wax and things like that. And people, we eat oranges and apples and beans and rice and pancakes and things like that. Both fire and people breathe in oxygen. We breathe out carbon dioxide and water. Pretty cool, huh? You're like fire. It's not too hot, though. God doesn't want to burn you up. But every time you eat, your body burns up food, just like fire burns paper and wood. That's how you stay alive. So I want you to take your two hands and rub them together. Fast, 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 fast. Uh, keep rubbing, keep rubbing, keep rubbing, keep rubbing. Breathe in your hands. What, what do you feel? feel? <laughs> yeah. Did you feel like heat, like fire? Put your hand next to your face. That's right. There must be a fire inside of you. Now try another thing. Put your hands together now. Blow into your hands. <sighs> what was it? Was it cold air you breathed out or was it hot air? Yeah, that's hot air, that's warm air. There must be a fire inside of you. Hi, my name is Wambui and this is my friend Saya. <laughs> We're here to show you our art project, the candle. You can make this at home with your parents. All you need is construction paper and some glue and a stick. So we started out with cutting different color pieces of construction paper and we glued them on our big piece of construction paper. So we cut out a rectangle for the wax of the candle, we got a stick for the wick of the candle, and then we cut out four different colors of construction paper for the flame because there are four parts to a flame. So here we have our labeled version of the candle and there are three parts to the candle and four parts to the flame. Saya, can you tell me what this part of the candle is? The wax. Mm-hmm. And what about this part? Wick. Mm-hmm. And then which two parts of the candle or the flame are the hottest? The blue and the white. Mm-hmm. And then what is the brightest part of the candle? The yellow. Mm-hmm. And what part also glows along with the yellow? Orange. Mm-hmm. Good job. I know we have some creation scientists out there. If you want to do a show and tell, you can be right here on the show. All you have to do is send in a video no longer than one minute of you doing an art project, a science experiment. Just get in touch with your parents and ask them to send a video to the email right below. We would love to hear from you. Now it's time to do a story. But for this story, you got to get a pillow because we're going to imagine that we're in the land of the big fire. In the land of the big fire, we're going to see little Musa and we're going to see Papa Musa. Now this looks like Papa Musa's stick. You see this? 
This stick comes from Africa. Isn't this a beautiful stick? It has the face of a man on it, a little knob so they can hold on to the stick. And this stick helps people walk, especially when it's hard to walk when you get a little older. But this stick is also used to show that a person is powerful. When people see this big stick, they know the person is powerful, just like fire. Fire is very powerful. And remember, God is the big fire and he loves us so. All right, you got an opportunity. Go get your pillows. I'll play a little music for you. On the first day, God made the day. You on your pillows? Good. I want you to sit down, close your eyes, and imagine yourself going to the land of the big fire. Get on your pillows, close your eyes, and put on your thinking cap so you remember what you learned. Let's go! Here we are. There's little Musa and his grandmother right there in the kitchen. Listen to Granny. Little Musa, aren't you going to eat your pancakes, son? It's almost time to go to school. I know, Granny. I'm just not hungry. There's something wrong with you, little Musa. Pancakes is your favorite breakfast. Granny, I don't want to talk about it. I'll take a nap so I can eat it outside. Our story is about a little boy named Musa who's afraid. Have you ever been afraid of something or someone? When we're afraid, it's like, like we just want to shrink away and disappear and let the fire go out. But did you know that God is the biggest fire there is? And his fire never goes out. When we trust in God, we don't have to worry. He'll fight our battles. Today, we're going to learn how the big fire gave Musa the power to stand against Pharaoh Tut in the land of the bush. They called him Little Musa because his grandfather is Big Musa. Little Musa doesn't play with matchsticks or fire rocks or lighters, but he can light a fire just the same. He makes sparks fly with a flash of his big, beautiful smile. Little Musa doesn't start fires that burn people up, but he starts fires that warm them up and gives them hope and makes them feel good. Well, most of the time. At school, everyone likes to play games with Little Musa at recess. He says things like, hey, Joe, you got this. Just aim for the moon. Hit it out of the park. And I never met anyone who plays games just like you. He likes to walk little girls to class and help people with their homework. Everybody likes Musa. Well, almost everybody. Like Farrell Tut, he's the biggest bully in the school. He can't stand Musa. Today, Musa is not himself. He has a big challenge. Pharaoh Tut, that big old bully, is making his life hard. Pharaoh Tut and his friends, they keep stealing his lunch money and messing with his friend. Little Musa is feeling down on himself because he can't fix it, and he's feeling guilty. What about you, boys and girls? Do you think it's Musa's fault he can't stop that bully Pharaoh Tut? No, I don't think so. When things are too big for you, you gotta tell someone. Little Musa needs a special touch 
and he's going to get it when his old papa tells him the story about the big fire. You can probably tell that our story is not done, but for the exciting conclusion of Little Musa and the Big Fire, join us next time right here. Have you ever wondered what makes fire burn? How deep is the ocean? What makes leaves green? How far are the stars from your house? What makes birds fly? Why do lions roar? How does food get from your mouth to your stomach? At Creation Us Kids School of Creation Science, we know you have questions. And we have answers in God's creation and in His Word. At Creation Us Kids, we believe God's love for us is pure science. What did we learn today? We learned that fire breathes, fire gets hot, and we're like fire. We eat like fire, we breathe like fire. And we also learned that God is the big fire. He is the biggest fire, and His fire is a fire of love. Fire could burn you up. You've got to be very safe with fire. Don't play with fire. Get to your parents if you want to see the, the majesty or the, the greatness of fire. Make sure you have your mommies or your daddies right there. You want to do this thing again? Let's try it. It gets hot. Use your hands for good, not bad. Until next time, remember, God's love for us is pure science. Creation is kids. Mm-hmm.